I'm gonna start off by using a BB cream. So I'm gonna be using a um, Misha's BB cream for today. I'm gonna skip the other BB creams. I'm just, I'm just gonna use my fingers. So this is how I usually apply this. I apply my BB cream when I'm too lazy to put on makeup in the morning. You know, everyone has those days, right? When you're just too lazy to put on makeup, but you don't want to look like a zombie at work. So I use BB cream. So do you see how the foundation, I mean the BB cream is oxidizing on my face right away? It's turning out to be of a different color. Like sometimes it's almost grayish. I'm not sure if it's registering correctly on the camera. So you can just match it from um, my neck. So it's actually turning lighter. Yeah, if you can see it's a forehead. Like do you see it turning like really really light? Okay, so there you go. Lighter than my actual skin tone. Lighter, 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 darker, lighter. So yeah. So now how do you set this problem? As I've told you, um, my face, I mean not my face, I mean like my skin is weird. Like I'm acidic but this shade well, not for BB cream, so I don't know. Like, but yeah. So this is already lighter on my skin tone, and then later on, instead of it getting darker, it's gonna turn even lighter. So I'm gonna set it with a darker um, setting powder. I'm gonna be using Ben Nice. What's this? I'm gonna be using Ben Nice Beige Suede. So just take any face brush that you have. So I'm gonna set it now with Ben Nice um, Beige Suede. To even it out, I'm not sure if the, the color is picking up on the camera, but I can see it from my mirror that it actually is getting a bit darker. Now, if you can see, well, um, well, oh my god, so. It's not registering rightly on the camera. In actuality, um, it actually evened out from my skin tone here to there. But if you can compare it from the one that I showed you earlier, um, this one is like, this turns slightly darker. So it matches my skin tone a little more compared to the one that I showed you a while ago. That's how I set my BB cream. For it to match my skin tone and well even if it oxidizes I don't know that's one thing that I like about the Ben Eye powder is like um, it stays true to the color so even if like I wear this for like let's say eight hours straight the color is still going to be like this my face is still gonna turn a little whiter like when you know when I take pictures using flash because I mean it has SPF the BB cream has SPF so that's what SPF does but all I'm saying is that um, at least I don't look like you know like a, a lady walking with a very very white face so the powder was able to set um, the BB cream evenly and now it patches my skin tone or at least it doesn't look that bad anymore so the next slide is going to be how I use a darker foundation to match my skin tone. So I'm just going to take off my, my makeup first using my happy tea. Lawrence is here and he's cooking for me. I have the best fiance ever. Ever. Best fiance ever. Sayang the makeup. Okay, I'm doing this for you guys because I love my subbies and I love you too and I just love it. There, ingat with the eyebrows. 
took me 10 minutes to do that. It's not even perfect. Dark, oh. Dark, dark, dark. And no, it's not dirt on my face. That's just uh, been nice. Big suede. I just washed my face prior to doing this video. And I just woke up a few minutes ago. So, you know. Okay, I think I'll be in. Okay, so I already cleaned my face and now I'm gonna use a darker foundation and make it seem like it's just my skin tone or maybe like slightly darker or something. So what I'm gonna be using today is this. It's the Ralph Blonde's Beauty Naked Foundation. Um, I decided to use this instead of L'Oreal because this is uh, way darker than L'Oreal. Well, this one has more yellow tones in it than this. But yeah, if you can see, this is darker. So let's just use this. When I used this, I was actually shocked because um, when I searched YouTube um, about this shade, there's actually this girl in YouTube who's like, she's Caucasian, but she uses this um, foundation because she likes getting tan or something, or she's always tan. But then, I don't know, like when I when I watch her video, it seems to me that she's like NC 20 to 25, but she also uses this. So I was like, oh, well, okay, I can make it work. But yeah, so anyway, so I'm gonna be using this. And, you know, just take any flat top brush that you have or any brush that you use for your liquid foundation. It's gonna be okay. Perfectly fine. No worries. I ain't gonna judge you. Kidding. So, yeah. So, we're gonna be using this. I'm gonna apply it. I'm just gonna apply it, like, gently and sparingly. So, can you see? I am magic, right? <laughs> But I know, it just decides to like settle on my face. And you can see here it's darker. It's darker than my skin tone. But when I put it on my face, I don't mean it disappears and that. I don't know, like you can't even understand it. I get fade on this thing that's happening on my face. I have too much acidity going on. See, it, this one looks like okay on my skin like it's a bit darker like when I used this in the office one time and then I asked my office mate um do you think my face is darker and then she was like yeah did you get us did, did you get a tan <laughs> and I was like ah oh, shit yeah it is dark on my face it's a bit dark on my face can you see it or do I have to move back for you to see it Well, yeah, so I'm not sure if it's registering, but yeah, this is darker on my face. So if you can just see from here. Ay, hindi pala. Use this. Use this. Right there. Yeah, darker. Maybe it's just light, but yeah, this is darker. In my skin tone if you can see um, this is darker than my shade here so what I'm gonna be using now is the Ben Nye banana powder because well this is a lot of yellow undertones to it well keyword banana so right there um, so it's supposed to make my face lighter or you know just so people won't say that I got a tan on my face just on my face I mean who would do that, right? Like just a tan on your face? No one does that. Anyway, I'm gonna be setting it with the Ben Nye powder. And the good thing about this setting powder is that it really locks in the foundation. Like, you know, I mean, it has a good staying powder. Well, just like any other setting powder out there. Like six to eight hours, because most of the time I'm just in the office anyway. So yeah, it's pretty much, it's an okay powder, I can say. I don't know, I can say it's my HD, but I've been using it every day. So we'll see, I'll probably like, let you know by the end of the year if this is like AG material or not. I mean, it is AG material, it's just not my holy grail product. There. Just go in near the camera. So there, if you can see. 
It's even now, right? I mean, there's not much of a difference. So that's it, you guys. That's how I make the wrong shade of foundation work for me. I hope this video has been really helpful to you. And if it is, please thumbs up, like this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!